What up techies? Welcome back. It's only logical that there must also be white holes if there are black holes. However, this is not an easy thing to uncover due to the mystifying nature of white holes. Unlike black holes, the existence of white holes is still up for debate among scientists and researchers because some are still adamant that they do not exist. This debate has been put to rest by the new James Webb Space Telescope, which has confirmed the existence of a white hole. What exactly are these white holes? And do they exist? Let's find out. What are black holes exactly? In contrast to black holes, white holes are objects so dense that light cannot escape their gravitational pull. Light holes eject matter and light into the universe. As a result, a black hole can be compared to a bottomless pit, while a white hole can be compared to a fountain. Both black and white holes are regions of spacetime with extraordinarily high gravitational effects and it's vital to remember this. White holes and black holes differ in that black holes can be noticed, whilst white holes cannot. Because white holes don't produce any radiation, they are effectively undetectable to the human eye. Black holes suck up everything that strays too close, including stars with their tremendous mass. Are white holes as dangerous as black holes or scarier? They have many similarities, but key differences? The new James Webb Space Telescope, launched last year, is said to expand our knowledge of black and white holes. We've been launching telescopes to space for decades, but none has had the impact the JWST will have. The JWST has three anesthetic matte mirrors. This means the primary mirror is concaved, and the secondary mirror is convex. The tertiary mirror reduces astigmatism and flattens the focus plane for a wider perspective. The primary mirror has 18 hexagonal pieces that were delivered to 11 different sites before they were completed. They are made from beryllium that underwent a unique processing. An actuator controls each hexagonal mirror so fine-tuned that it can be aligned to 110 times smaller than a human hair. Engineers and scientists had to invent how to do it from scratch. The mirrors are coated in a thin gold film, improving the reflection of infrared light. Each mirror segment has a name. If one of them is out of sync, it will ruin the picture. This is a huge challenge especially in the harsh environment where the JWST now operates. While manufacturing the mirrors was a challenge, keeping the mirrors cold enough required special thinking. Astronomers must observe infrared light to see the first stars and galaxies in the early universe. It protects heat from the sun, earth, and moon by passively reflecting it into space. Each succeeding layer of the sun shield is cooler than the one below. Heat radiates out between the layers, and the vacuum between them is a good insulator. One thick sun shield would transport heat from bottom to top through five vacuum-separated layers. The heat shield layers must be carefully separated in space and have unique seams and reinforcements to prevent meteor damage. The JWST's primary imager is the near-infrared camera, or near-cam, which is equipped with coronagraphs graphs that allow astronomers to take pictures of very faint objects around a central bright object like stellar systems nearby. Coronagraphs graphs work by blocking a brighter object's light allowing astronomers to view the dimmer object nearby. Just like shielding the sun from your eyes with an upraised hand can allow you to focus on the view in front of you. First Deep Field was unveiled by President Joe Biden in the US, marking a very important milestone in the deployment of the new telescope and showing thousands of galaxies including some of the faintest objects ever observed. It took about half a day to generate the composite image, a huge improvement over the Hubble, which would have required weeks. This galaxy cluster's mass functions as a gravitational lens, magnifying galaxies behind it. The near cam on JWST brought distant galaxies into perfect focus. They have very dim structures, including star clusters and hazy characteristics. With a telescope as powerful as the JWST, the full truth about white holes will be disclosed for the first time. The difference between black and white holes is how they treat materials. A black hole is a region of space-time with the maximum gravity from which no field or electromagnetic radiation can escape. A white hole is a hypothesized space-time phenomenon that permits light energy matter to escape. A black hole is a perfect black body since it contains mass, but no angular momentum or electric charge. Stephen Hawking and other renowned scientists theorized about white holes. A black hole is an area in space where space matter has been squeezed into a tiny particle when a star collapses, causing immense gravity, and pulling as no light travels through or comes out of a black hole. Nobody has ever seen a black hole. Specialized space telescopes are needed. Scientists find black holes by observing gas and stars near them. A black hole produces high energy light that can't be observed without proper equipment. Einstein's theory of gravity and relativity explains the white hole. This idea questioned the existence of wormholes, but in the 1970s, Hawking revealed that certain black holes leak, giving birth to white holes. Light holes are generated from black holes, 
which explains where they receive their ingredients. This happens when quantum phenomena around the black hole with additional collapse expel matter, generating a white hole because of its no-entry event horizon. A white hole is sometimes called the time-reverse black hole. There is no way a spacecraft can realistically get to the end of a white hole and explore it. But a white hole can affect the entire universe as it ejects out everything in a one-way movement of materials. A white hole's unique feature is that nothing outside the white hole can influence anything inside it. In recent years, the focus on white holes has increased. But the origin of white holes remains a mystery. The problem comes after the black hole swallows the white hole. This may end in two ways the two heavenly bodies combine to become a black hole, or both are combined to become a white hole. What determines what the end product looks like depends on whether the black hole or white hole has more mass. An event horizon exploding into a functional star would be like an egg unscrambling. Most gamma ray bursts last 2 minus 30 seconds. GRB 60614 occurred in a galaxy with few exploding stars. It appears to astronomers and astrophysicists that this gamma ray burst came from nowhere and collapsed in on itself after just a few moments. However, some years later, scientists proposed that GRB 060614 could have been a white hole. This is because GRB 060064 describes perfectly what one would expect to see from a white hole a mighty unstable fountain of matter and energy that disappears shortly after forming. Other theories put the formation of white holes a second after the Big Bang due to random density fluctuations in the hot, rapidly expanding newborn universe. According to this school of thought, areas where these fluctuations concentrated matter could have collapsed to form black holes. These primordial black holes would be much smaller than stellar mass black holes and could have died to create white holes within the universe's lifetime. The black hole is an insatiable receiver, whereas the white hole is an unrestrained giver. A white hole mass becomes black hole energy. This won't be a quick battle as the black hole can feed on the white hole for thousands of years. As it keeps feeding, the black hole grows larger, eventually swallowing the white hole completely. With so much energy consumed from the white hole, the black hole becomes more massive than ever. It might be as big as Messier 87, which is 38 billion kilometers or 23.6 billion miles across. We know the universe is expanding, but we don't know what's causing it. Like other invisible things in existence in science, we think it's caused by dark energy. Information entering black holes would disappear with the death of a black hole as it evaporated into nothing. Still, the information is supposed to be inviolate and can never be destroyed. Quantum bounces would solve that problem neatly. All the information stored within a black hole would be spewed out when it became a white hole. Dark matter is a mysterious substance that doesn't react with light or any other known force of nature except gravity. No one knows what dark matter is, but it makes up about 84% of all the matter in the universe. A 2018 paper suggested that white holes fit the descriptions of this hard to detect and mysterious kind of matter. Einstein's equations only describe how white holes can exist, not how they develop. There is still much more for us to learn and we will continue to explore these topics in future videos. What do you think? Do white holes exist? Tell us in the comments section below.